While the Vietnam War is in the history books, the effects of it continue to this day. The United States' use of chemicals to kill vegetation is well known. The long-term effects continue to impact those in Vietnam, as well as those who served in our military, helping to either load, mix, and deliver the chemicals in the Vietnam jungles and along the waterways. For years now, the VA acknowledged those serving with boots on the ground during the Vietnam War were exposed to these chemicals, which are linked to a long list of health issues in humans. More recently, in 2019, those serving on ships in the territorial waters were covered with presumptive health conditions due to their exposure to the chemicals. Now the Department of Veterans Affairs looks to expand presumptive exposure to Agent Orange and other herbicides. The proposal looks to include chemical storage locations where men and women served in Cambodia, India, Korea, Laos, and Thailand. In addition to Johnston Atoll out in the Pacific near Hawaii, locations in Canada, and at least 11 U.S. states where Agent Orange and other herbicides were tested, stored, or disposed of over several years. The VA secretary says this proposed change would make it easier for veterans exposed to herbicides who served outside Vietnam to access the benefits they so rightly deserve. He goes on to say the VA's goal is to provide every veteran of every era with the VA health care and benefits they deserve, and this is another step in the right direction.